Kate Harding was elated when she found a small treasure of sorts in her backyard when she was just a kid. Four years in the Woodell Avenue home and the couple never knew there were thousands upon thousands of dollars, smelly, soaking wet and stuck together, just rotting in their yard. What do you do when you stumble upon the greatest discovery of your life and that too in your own backyard? This woman finds a rare gem while digging in her backyard. Oh my god! You're amazing! There you go. It was right here. And her life is changed forever. All the doors in the world are now open to her. Or are they? Just like in a well-written movie, there's a catch. Join us as we tell you the story of one lucky woman and her journey grappling with the consequences of striking gold. One, an unusual discovery. This started off as an innocent discovery that would eventually lead to legal complication. A woman named Kate Harding, just a child at the time, was helping her mother in the garden when she unearthed something extraordinary, an ancient treasure in the shape of a coin. It wasn't just any old coin, but a 700-year-old silver peed fort dating back to the early 14th century. The object, as later confirmed, marked the ascension of Charles IV to the French throne in 1322. Little did young Kate know, this seemingly small piece of history would become a significant part of her own story. Two, the rarity of a peed fort. The exact purpose of peed forts remains a mystery to historians. They are thicker than regular coins and weren't used as currency, which adds to their intrigue. Some experts suggest that these items were used by mint workers as guides, while others believe they served as reckoning counters for official. Whatever their use, only a handful of them have ever been discovered in the UK. Just three to be exact. One such peed fort found in 2007 was even purchased by the British Museum for one eight hundred dollars. The rarity and value of these historical treasures makes Harding's discovery even more worthy of notice. Following the unexpected loss of her mother, shortly after the find, Kate Harding held onto the peed fort as a memento. It was more than just an ancient artifact to her. It was a tangible connection to a time when she and her mother had spent time together in the garden. The peed four stayed with her for years, tucked away as a keepsake. As time passed, it seemed the significance of the object in the eyes of the law faded from her memory. It wasn't until years later, in 2023, that Harding decided to seek expert advice regarding the object. She took it to museum staff, hoping to learn more about its origins and significance. 3. The Museum's Response the experts at the museum confirmed what she had suspected all along. She was holding a rare and valuable piece of history in the palm of her hand. Kate Harding was elated when she found a small treasure of sorts in her backyard when she was just a kid. The peed for she had uncovered as a child was actually an ancient relic steeped in historical importance. At this point, it should have been pretty straightforward for anyone familiar with the law. A little over a decade later, however, authorities knocked on her door with a few questions about her find. Under the UK's Treasure Act of 1996, any discovered object over 300 years old that contains precious metal must be reported to the local coroner within 14 days of discovery. The Act ensures that such finds are properly handled, studied, and, when necessary, acquired for museums to preserve the country's heritage instead of being pawned off at your local shop. Not following this law can lead to serious consequences, which is exactly where Harding found herself next. There was no way she could have seen this mess coming. Though the museum identified the item as a peed for and informed her of the next steps, Harding didn't report the find to the coroner as required. Despite calls and letters from the museum reminding her of her legal duty under the Treasure Act, she delayed taking action. Now, it was more than just accidental obliviousness. It had become her fault. It is unclear why she didn't report the item, but the court would later hear a defense that cited disorganization as the primary reason for her inaction. Perhaps Harding may not have fully grasped the seriousness of the situation at the time. For the law gets involved. As the weeks turned into months, the museum, concerned by her lack of response, notified the coroner, Anthony Sibsey, for South Shropshire. Sibsey, in turn, informed the police. This set off a chain of events that would lead Harding to face legal action under the very law meant to protect historical finds like hers. She was in big trouble. At first, Harding claimed she had lost the peed fort. This claim, however, 
didn't hold up under scrutiny, and she eventually admitted to having the object and not reporting it. Harding's case was heard in Ludlow Magistrate's Court, where the facts were laid bare. She had failed to fulfill her legal obligation, and although she had reasons, both sentimental and practical, they weren't enough to excuse her from the requirements of the law. Her defense lawyer, Brendan Reedy, argued that she had been disorganized and that the paid for had sentimental value, having been found with her mother, who had passed away shortly after. Nevertheless, the court found that the Treasure Act had been breached. Sentiment or no sentiment, the court does not recognize love as a legitimate reason to commit a crime. 5. The Catch The Treasure Act of 1996 is quite clear about what constitutes treasure and how it should be handled. In this case, Harding had failed to report an object that fit the definition of treasure. The Act defines treasure as any single object at least 300 years old, containing a minimum of 10% precious metal, if it is not a coin. In the case of a coin, it's pretty straightforward. The law was designed to preserve historical artifacts for the public and prevent them from being lost to private collections without proper documentation. Despite the breach, the court showed some leniency to this poor girl. Harding admitted her guilt in front of the judge and was thankfully not sentenced to jail time, even though she could have faced up to three months behind bars, a fine, or both. Instead, she was given a conditional discharge, meaning she would not face further penalties unless she committed another offense within a set period. However, she was ordered to pay $25 of the $300 costs, a relatively small amount given the potential severity of the offense, and her treasure was officially confiscated. All that for nothing. And now, speaking of finding treasure in your very own backyard, here's a few more people who may or may not have turned to be much luckier than Ms. Harding. 6. Backyard Treasure Hunt This man went treasure hunting in his own backyard with a giant magnet and metal detector, not expecting the surprise that awaited him. He always believed that anything could be buried anywhere, but even he was taken aback by what he uncovered. In his yard stands the remains of a 100-year-old apple tree, which he thinks is a sign that the ground itself has been undisturbed for generations. To him, that meant there was a good chance of finding something old. Over time, countless things had gone missing in the yard. He'd previously unearthed gold ring on the roots of his carrots and even found an elderly woman's lost wedding ring buried for decades in the soil. On this particular day, he stumbled across an old piece of pottery, its age unclear, but definitely ancient. That find alone was enough to convince him the ground beneath his feet had stories to tell. He pointed out other bits of green pottery, likely old Dutch pieces, the kind you'd see in old painting. As he explored further, the excitement grew. There were several clay pipe stems scattered across the area. He found one, then another, and another. Before long, he realized he'd hit a hot spot, the soil rich with artifacts from the past. Each piece of pottery and every clay pipe stem felt like a small piece of history revealing itself, and he couldn't believe what he was uncovering right in his own backyard. 7. A Strange Box For years, the couple Matthew and Maria Colonna Emanuel didn't think much of the rusted metal box they noticed behind some tree in their Staten Island backyard. They assumed it was just part of an old electrical box, or maybe a piece of cable left behind, but they couldn't have been more wrong. It turned out to be an old safe, stuffed with $52,000 in cash, gold, and diamond. How they came across this hidden treasure, and what they did with it, makes for a remarkable story. The box had been there ever since they moved in, but it wasn't until wildlife damaged the trees in their yard that they got a clearer view of it. Curiosity got the best of them, and they decided to dig it up. To their surprise, it wasn't just an old piece of junk, it was a safe. Inside, they found wet cash along with a stash of jewelry carefully sealed in plastic bag. But that wasn't all. Tucked inside was a note with an address, and that address belonged to their neighbor. Matthew knocked on their neighbor's door and casually asked if they had ever been robbed. To his shock, the neighbor confirmed they had been years ago. The only thing stolen, lo and behold, a safe filled with money, jewelry, and valuable items, totaling around $52,000. When Matthew revealed the news to their neighbor, she was so overwhelmed 
she started shaking. Her treasure had returned. 8. Secret Shelter A woman was left in disbelief when construction workers stumbled upon a decades-old bomb shelter hidden beneath her garden. The homeowner had lived in her Bridgen property for 12 years. She had been told by the previous owner about the possibility of a shelter being buried in the backyard. However, it wasn't until builders prepping the site for a new outbuilding uncovered the shelter that its existence was confirmed. The shelter had been concealed for years under a layer of patio, dirt, and a concrete slab. The homeowner suspects that the structure could be an old Anderson shelter from World War II, a type commonly installed in gardens in areas that were likely to be targeted by bombing raids. These shelters were built to protect families from air attacks during the war, with over 3.6 million installed throughout the UK by 1945. Today, very few of these remain intact. She explained that Anderson shelters were typically made of six curved steel sheets bolted together with dimensions just large enough to accommodate up to six people. These shelters were often buried halfway underground and covered with earth for protection. Having a family connection to war history, as her grandmother had been an evacuee, the discovery held personal meaning. She shared her excitement, saying she would love to learn more about the shelter's history. Her neighbors tell her to turn it into a wine cellar, but rumor has it she's still thinking about what to build over it to this day. 9. Striking Gold In an unexpected twist, a family in Norway searching for a lost gold earring in their yard ended up uncovering something far more extraordinary. Viking-era artifacts over a thousand years old. What started as a simple search with a metal detector to recover a piece of missing jewelry soon turned into a historical discovery. Near a tall tree in their backyard, the metal detector picked up a strong signal. As they dug into the earth, they unearthed two ancient bronze objects, relics from a distant past. Realizing the significance of what they had found, the Asvik family immediately contacted local authority. They had unknowingly stumbled upon an ancient Viking burial site beneath a large tree in their garden, as confirmed by the Vestfold and Telemark County Council. The items they unearthed, believed to date back to around 800 AD, were once likely adorned with gold, hinting at their high value. Among the artifacts was an oval brooch, traditionally used by Viking women to fasten the shoulder straps of their halter dresses. This type of brooch is a common feature in Viking women's graves, specifically from the 9th century, and provides a glimpse into the style and customs of the time. This discovery may be the first recorded Viking Age find on Jomfruland, shedding light on the fact that people inhabited the island during that era. Prior to this, evidence of human activity on the island only stretched back to the Middle Ages, between AD 500 and 1500, making this a significant historical breakthrough. Archaeologists have called it the discovery of the century, and that too, out of someone's yard. 10. Laid to rest. In a scene straight out of a thriller, a man was going about his day when he stumbled upon something horrifying in his own yard. A bag that contained a pillowcase held far more than anyone would expect, a fully loaded hunting rifle and a cell phone. This unsettling discovery was made in Calgary, Canada back in 2014, leaving the man likely shaken and overwhelmed. Finding an armed weapon like that, buried and hidden, is the kind of shock that would unsettle anyone. What kind of horrors had the previous owner committed to need to hide it like that? 11. The birds bring news. Holly Connors had an unexpected encounter when a sudden flock of birds crowded her backyard fence in her home in Brisbane. Obviously, she had to go see what was going on. The mix of different bird species, all chirping loudly, seemed to be working together, almost as if they were trying to alert her to something important. It wasn't long before she spotted the cause of the ruckus, a snake perched on top of her house's gutter, completely surrounded by the birds. The snake, identified as a common tree snake, appeared to be trying to escape the mob of birds, 
She had to do something fast. Once she understood the situation and realized it was just a common tree snake, she decided to chase the birds away and save the non-venomous beast herself. She said her family chased away the birds and they didn't return. Connors found it pretty unusual to see so many different bird species working together like that. She said that at least now we know nature has its own way of giving us a heads up if something less friendly shows up. 12. A million dollar dig. A casual stroll with their dog led a California couple to a discovery worth more than they ever imagined. Buried on their property, they unearthed a treasure trove of rare Gold Rush era coins, still gleaming and in mint condition, despite being hidden away for over a century. Had they been stolen? Had something happened to the original owner? Nobody knows. What is certain is that the coins are worth $10 million. These 1,400 coins, dating back to the mid-1800s, are estimated to be worth a staggering $10 million as now. The couple is doing everything they can to keep their identity under wraps, fearing that other treasure seekers might start digging up their yard in pursuit of more hidden wealth. 13. An unrecognizable sight. Now this generous man wanted to do something special for a lady in his neighborhood, something she wouldn't expect. He decided to leave her with a sight in her front yard that she wouldn't soon forget. He grabs his tools and quietly heads over to her place and gets to work. The front yard is an absolute horror. The grass is starting to creep too far. There's weeds all over the place, and it's as unkempt as you can imagine. He spends hours upon hours trimming, mowing, and pulling weeds until everything looks neat and fresh. It's the glow up of a lifetime for sure. All that's left is to for the homeowner to come out and discover what's happened to her backyard. It's safe to say that the poor lady is speechless when she sees what he's done to the outside of her house. It's clear that sometimes an unkempt house is just a small cry for help and sincere assistance. For this lucky lady, this man was willing to answer it, and for free, too. 14. Treasurely Stroll In a remarkable stroke of luck, a woman walking in the Kutnohorska region of the Czech Republic stumbled across a significant piece of history, a damaged ceramic pot filled with over 2,150 medieval silver coins was unearthed, some dating back around 900 years. Despite the pot's deteriorated condition, the coins themselves remained well-preserved. Experts from the Institute of Archaeology of the Academy of Sciences and the Czech Silver Museum now study the find, calling it one of the most important discoveries of the decade. This treasure, likely buried during a time of political upheaval in the early 12th century, has become a modern-day lottery win for archaeology. 15. Cougar Town Imagine coming home to what seems like an ordinary day, only to discover a mountain lion casually lounging behind your couch. That's exactly what happened to a woman named Lauren Taylor when a large cougar unexpectedly entered her home. According to Taylor, the mountain lion had been drinking from her home's large pond. Taylor believes that cats are highly sensitive to energy. Her housemate had screamed when she saw the cougar, and this had already agitated the animal. The cougar became anxious, even attempting to escape through a closed window. By consciously elevating the energy field and bringing calm, Taylor was able to create a sense of peace. She observed the cougar's behavior through a window. It had settled down, lying on pillows like a house cat. Amazingly, the mountain lion returned the gesture, slow blinking back several times. It then stretched out, relaxed, and fell into a peaceful sleep. At dawn, Taylor decided to encourage the cougar to leave without causing any panic. She decided to gently prompt it with drumming, while also mentally sending telepathic images of the open doors and a safe route out of the house. Shockingly, this worked. The cougar woke up, understood what to do, and walked calmly through the open doors, across the yard, over the creek, and back into the hills, just as they had visualized. 16. Aren't you a doll? Sometimes the line between cute and straight-up creepy can get super blurred, and that's exactly the case with this strange discovery in someone's backyard. An old, dirt-covered doll, forgotten by time, was found on the property, hinting at a child's playtime decades ago. The doll's weathered look made it obvious that this was not manufactured recently, and the owner recalls feeling chills. 17. 
a fishy surprise. A Virginia Beach local, Sue Bowser, had quite the surprise when she discovered a 13-inch dogfish shark lying lifeless in her backyard. Bowser, whose home sits about 300 yards from the ocean, believes the shark's presence was likely the result of a large bird losing its catch mid-flight. She said that you could see a small mark where talons probably pierced its side and there was a sign of injury where the claws must have grabbed it. Case solved. Intrigued by the unexpected find, Bowser decided to preserve the shark and placed it in her garage freezer for safekeeping. 18. See you later, alligator. A woman from just outside of Houston, Texas, managed to capture video footage of not one, but two alligators that appeared in her backyard. Woman spies not one, but two alligators swimming in her Houston backyard. Following the severe flooding caused by Hurricane Harvey. As the death toll from Hurricane Harvey climbed to nine, with heavy rain still pounding the region, Arlene Kelsch recounted how she initially noticed only one alligator at the edge of her yard. Upon a second look, however, she was startled to realize there were two alligators in the waterlogged garden. Kelsch explained that she went outside to check on the first alligator, but when she returned, she found that it had been joined by another, with both swimming around her property. 19. Treasure Victim Returning from a vacation to what should have been a peaceful homecoming, a woman was met with an unwelcome surprise. After cutting her trip short due to a stomach bug, all she wanted was to relax. But something outside demanded her attention first. Into the hole, about a foot and a half or so. And this is about four to five feet deep overall. There, smack in the middle of the yard, was an enormous hole. At the bottom, she found a shovel, a discarded water bottle, and random debris. It turned out that treasure hunters, without any kind of permission, had wrecked her backyard in his frantic pursuit for something valuable. 20. Grave Danger Imagine the shock of discovering your home is right next to a burial site. This nightmare became real for a man in Lawndale, California, who had heard rumors from his father about a grave on their property. Curiosity got the best of him, and after some digging, he uncovered a World War II veteran's gravestone. To find such a solemn piece of history right under your feet is a haunting revelation, one that lingers long after the discovery is made. 21. Double Trouble An Edinburgh woman discovered the reason why a bird kept returning to her hanging planter after catching it in the act one too many times. Mary Sayans, who says she enjoys gardening in her free time, found herself puzzled after repeatedly seeing a bird fly out of her hanging mint planter each time she stepped outside. It made no sense. What was it looking for? After a few days of this, curiosity got the better of her, and she decided to buck up and investigate. She shared on Facebook that upon inspecting the planter, she found a morning dove had laid an egg among her mint leaves and made a family home in her own backyard. But the surprises didn't stop there. Sainz later discovered a second egg. Laughing, she posted that her bird guest had laid twins and hinted that there might be a third on the way. For her, the fact that a bird made her planter a home is the equivalent of finding a rare and valuable treasure. What would you do if you found an unexpected treasure in your backyard? Would you keep it? 